Greetings fellow Conquerors, this is Darkfire Slide, and welcome to another Top 10 list here in EU4. Today I'll be talking about the Top 10 Idea Groups in the game, based on the following criteria. Overall effectiveness, how useful it is for every type of nation, and how cheap the Idea Group is, meaning how many ideas you really need out of the Idea Group to get full usefulness out of it. I chose this list in particular because a lot of people were asking for a National Ideas Top 10 list, but realizing that a lot of subs on my channel are newer players, I wanted to give them a list of information that can help them no matter what nation they decide to play, and hopefully this will teach some of the veterans out there something new as well. Without further ado, let's get thinking. Number 10, Religious Ideas. While this is the lowest idea group on the list, it is by no means bad, and it is arguably the most fun of all the idea groups in the right circumstances. This comes down to the first idea of religious ideas, Deus Volt, which gives you a permanent cast of spelling against anyone of a different religion of, than yourself, which is extremely useful for nations depending on their starting situation. Better religious conversion, an additional missionary, and more prestige round out this good, though situational, idea group. Number 9. Innovative Ideas this idea group is a wonderful potpourri of effects useful to almost any nation. Less prestige decay contributes to morale and controlling aggressive expansion, and minus 5% tech cost is especially useful for nations outside of the Western tech group. Cheaper advisors help your economy in a significant way, and another leader without upkeep means low power projection. Uh, doesn't hurt you as much, and arguably the most useful part of the group is getting a monthly reduction of war exhaustion, which can keep your war exhaustion low during easy wars or manageable during larger offensives. Number 8. Quali quantity Ideas Sun Tzu wrote in The Art of War that a smaller force, no matter how valiant, will always lose to a significantly numerically superior one. Quantity Ideas is a prime choice for smaller nations with lower force limits, or allows countries with already good militaries such as France and Prussia to further overwhelm their opponents. The bonuses to manpower help to eliminate any reliance on mercenaries, and cheaper troops contribute quite a bit to a healthier economy. The primary downside of this idea group is that you have to take the entire idea group before you can get the massive plus 50% to force limit that this idea group offers. Quantity also has some hilarious descriptions for the individual ideas. Number 7. Plutocratic Ideas First-time players of republics may notice this unique and powerful idea group in their list of options. In case the republican government type wasn't strong enough, they also get this idea group which contains some seriously powerful bonuses. 10% morale at the second idea group it significantly improves your armies, minus 2 unrest at idea 3 helps contain rebels, and manpower recovery speed is always useful as well. Finally, when you finish the idea group, you get a minus 5% to tech costs. The only thing stopping this idea group from being higher on the list is that it's exclusive to republics, which are rare unless you take certain idea groups. Number 6. Diplomatic Ideas Sometimes the strongest part of your nation isn't even your own nation. Sometimes it's your allies. A good choice for small nations, diplomatic ideas allows the nation to pick up alliances they normally wouldn't be able to, and have more of them as well. An additional diplomat helps you attain and maintain those alliances more easily, and this is especially useful for duchies, who only have two diplomats and the ability to break royal marriages for free. Uh, among other stability-related diplomatic a actions, makes this idea group quite powerful indeed, and a useful part of any nation's arsenal. Most notably, however, is the minus 20% to war score cost for provinces, meaning you can take more land in a war than you might otherwise be able to, something any conqueror is happy to have. Number 5. Defensive Ideas Many idea groups have powerful ideas, but require the whole group to get those bonuses. This is not the case with defensive ideas. The first two defensive ideas are extremely powerful. Plus one yearly army tradition helps keep your army's morale and manpower recovery higher, especially when stacked with quality ideas or aristocratic ideas reduction to tradition decay. However, the best part of defensive ideas is the second idea, plus 15% morale. To put it into perspective, this is only 5% less than Fr French or Prussian base morale. When stacked with national ideas or plutocratic ideas plus 10%, your armies become nearly impossible to beat, especially if you get the Relentless Drill event exclusive to this idea group, which increases your morale further by 15% for 10 years. This idea group is especially good outside of Europe, where idea groups can be harder to fill due to the high cost of technology. Minus 10% unit maintenance and higher enemy attrition helped to round out the tree, though the first two idea groups are... The first two ideas from this group are all you really ever have to take from this idea group. Number 4. Influence Ideas 
In my top 10 most frustrating mechanics video, a lot of people pointed out that they found aggressive expansion quite frustrating. Well, look no further. Influence Idea's fourth idea re reduces aggressive expansion by 20%. On top of this, you get plus two diplomatic reputation and an additional diplomatic slot, just like with diplomatic ideas. As well, if you have vassals, they will be of more use to you, and they become cheaper to annex as well. The recent additions of yearly prestige and chance of a new heir are especially helpful for monarchies as well. Number three, administrative ideas. Something else people mentioned in my frustrating mechanics top 10 is coring costs. Well, what if I told you that you could reduce the costs of all coring by 25% for the cost of 800 admin points? Administrative points are arguably the hardest to come by for a budding conqueror, and this idea group reduces the amount of admin points spent on coring new land. Like with defensive, you could just take the first two ideas from this group and be satisfied. However, if you do fill out this tree, cheaper mercenaries and cheaper admin tech await you, both of which are quite useful in their own rights. Number two, offensive ideas. This idea group is tried, tested, and true across many campaigns for a number of reasons. For starters, it eliminates a small amount of RNG, because with the first and third ideas in this group, you are guaranteed an additional shock and fire pip on every general you roll from the point that you unlock those ideas. Bonus prestige from land battles means higher morale and less aggressive expansion, and faster sieges are extremely helpful. 20% higher force limit and 5% discipline round out this tree and are both powerful in their own right. This idea group is useful for almost any military, especially those who already have good morale. Number 1. Humanist ideas. I remember reading a comment on one of my videos that said that the person had never taken humanist ideas before, and I was somewhat shocked. Of course, it makes sense. Who wants to be tolerant in this day and age? Well, I can tell you exactly why you want to be tolerant. First of all, in any region where you take land that is not your religion, you not only gain t plus 25% to religious unity overall, but by the end of the tree you even gain tolerance of heathens. The power of humanist ideas can mean with the right combination of other idea groups and national ideas that basically no matter what kind of land you take, you will almost never have nationalist rebels. This saves you countless tons of manpower, time, and money. Minus two national unrest and minus ten years of separatism mean that your nation will, for the most part, be very tame. In Europe, finishing this idea group before the Reformation makes you immune to the religious term while disaster, and you want to finish this group, because for finishing it, you get idea cost minus 10%, or 40 points per idea, meaning that if you finish this idea group before taking any other ideas, you will save a grand total of 1,960 points on idea, on idea groups alone. It becomes 50% easier to accept cultures, lowering unrest, and improving income from promises that would otherwise not be accepted. And finally, you gain plus 30% better relations over time, reducing the effects of aggressive expansion. Almost every idea in this group is useful, and this group is exceptionally powerful for virtually every nation in the game. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give it a like and leave a comment with your thoughts. Subscribe if you want to see more EU4 content daily and top 10s weekly. Until then, Godspeed and may luck be on your side.